guys happy monday i am on the last part of my day at work and i am struggling with energy because when i woke up this morning i was feeling pretty run down and like starting to feel congested and like pressure right in my like sinuses so i think i'm getting whatever sickness that jordan has and i am probably gonna knit night tonight because of it because i don't want to like pass it along to anybody else and i just kind of feel like being cozy and like friday night um just curling up on the couch with some like reading was really nice i'm probably gonna do that um plus i am almost up with finished with bunning by a wad and i am almost done with my um review copy of the 2022 like um almanac i forgot what the entire title is but i'll put a picture on the screen of the cover I'm trying to kind of work my way through my net galley arcs slowly but surely but i'm almost done with those i'm doing a bit of reading mostly and you know like working on stuff here and there throughout the the work day i'm just trying to take it easy and not push myself too much even though like got all fans try to like make myself feel a little bit normal was to actually doing makeup today at least trying to make um uh, trying to make mondays days where i actually put more effort into what i look like during the week because i haven't been doing that very often but um, mondays are my at least get pretty days even when i'm not feeling too good so anyways i am going to try to make it through the last few hours of my work day get some more reading done and I if I don't check in with you guys later this afternoon um probably tomorrow morning then good morning you guys excuse me for being a mess I only woke up like maybe 10 minutes ago but our mail person is coming like super late um like when I got home around six o'clock from work yesterday, the flag on the mailbox was still up. So it was sometime whenever uh, between I got home, but I got a package in the mail from Harper Collins. So let's see what it could be. Oh, I got like a hole in front of it. So let me see. Oops, open. Nice. The Death of a Jade Bird. Essays on Mothers and Daughters and the Things They Leave Behind. By Jody M. Savage. Here's the bee. Let me read the back of it for you guys. Um, a deeply empathetic and often a humorous collection of essays that explore the author's ever-changing relationships with her grandmother and mother through sickness and health. And they experienced the joy and challenges of black American womanhood. Jody M. Savage was raised in Brooklyn, New York, by her maternal grandmother. Her whip smart, charismatic mother struggled with addiction and was unable to care for her. Granny, a fiery Pentecostal preacher who had a way with many words, was Jody's rock until all Alzheimer's disease turned the tables and a 28-year-old Jody stepped into the role of caregiver. It was up to Jody to get them both through the devastations of deteriorating mind. After Granny passed away, Jody spent years trying to reckon with her grief. She and her mother were both diagnosed with breast cancer nearly a decade later, and Jody lost her too. In this searing, candid collection of essays, Jody illuminates the roles that identity and memory play in preserving those we love. She explores the lives of modern black women and communities through the prism, prisms of her personal experience, experiences with grace, creativity, and insight. 
She looks at femininity, family, race, mental illness, grief, health care, and faith. Jody definitely portrays how trauma is inherited and how the struggle to break generational curse can last a lifetime. The death of a jaybird is a thoughtful examination of complicated family love, loss, and liberating power of claiming their stories. And I am really excited to get it into this. It sounds so interesting and heartbreaking all at once. So I am going to try to read this soon. I'm not too sure when I'll get to it, but it sounds really in interesting. Thank you so much, Harper Perennial, for sending this my way. And you guys check it out if you're interested in it. Now, uh, update. I am a little out of it still. Uh, not just because I just woke up. I am starting to feel like, kind of a little worse with the sickness. I now to the point where my nose is feeling kind of stuffy. So if I sound congested, it's because I am. And I'm just uh, kind of just want to go back to sleep. But yeah, um, I didn't go to knit night last night because I don't want to pass this bug or whatever it is that we have on to others. And, um, I got some reading done yesterday at work. I had, uh, finished the Way Back All Mac, uh, 2022. Um, gave it, I think I gave it, like, three stars, three or four stars, I can't remember now. Um, it was really in interesting, even though it was way too late to be reading it anyways, but there's still some, like, really good information you can glean from past almanacs, especially, like, this one I am. Like, it tells you when, like, certain foods are in season, and how, like, what you can cook with them, and stuff like that, so, and it was, I found it informative and made notes from, from that, and, I ended up taking a bath last night just to kind of like relax a little bit and I ended up finishing Bunny by Ma Awad and gave that three stars and that book is something I tell you I yeah yeah I don't really have much words for that I am doing a separate reading blog um that that's gonna be in so you'll hear m more about that book and my thoughts and that reading vlog but yeah i started the practically pagan guide to living a magical life or something like that i'll have the cover on screen it's another past nut galley that i am trying to get to and i will probably start today uh, house of sky and breath because we are reading it for reading by candlelight um pick for the month and our live show is the 16th we're reading half of it this month and then half like next month so i need to even though i've read it before i would like to like read it again or at least try to get to the halfway point and the um third book is supposed to be coming out next month so it kind of helps me prepare to like uh read the the third one by rereading at least the second one so, I'm going to be bringing that with it to work. And I might do some more annotating in it, in it, even though I already annotated a crap ton in it. But we'll see what new stuff I find in it. I'm trying to think if there's anything else that's going on for Tuesday. I don't think there is anything else. Uh, other than playing Dead by Daylight tonight with Allie on her Twitch channel. It... For the month of November, it was uh, all about games that her mods picked up for her. So we haven't played it Dead by Daylight an entire month. Um, so I am pretty excited about getting back to playing with my friends. So I will have fun with that tonight. But other than work, I don't have anything else exciting planned other than possibly going to the to the post office. So. But anyways, I'll stop rambling at you guys and check in with you all later.